you, I'm seeing this. We'll make it small. So this is the first amended motion for temporary orders and request for temporary injunctions. And if we go right here, you see it right here. This is right here. This is where we at. I mean, I've covered all this other stuff. Like, um, I probably should have covered Rule 11 agreement. Oh, well. Uh, where are we at? Sorry, I didn't lost my place. First Amendment. All right. So what is she asking for? First Amendment motion for temporary orders. Uh, we're going to go slow because I don't think I redacted everything. Uh, petitioner requests that the court notice and hearing make temporary orders and arise appropriate temporary injunctions. Petitioner requests that respondent, Mr. Cow, be ordered to pay reasonable interim attorney fees and expenses included but not limited to fees, appraisals, accountants, actuaries, and so forth. Petitioner is not in control of sufficient community assets to pay attorney fees and anticipated expense. A debt. Where your money at? Debt. Where your? This is what happens in divorce. They cre They cried broke. Hey, I got no money. Can he? He got to. He got to pay for me to get the appraisals. He got to pay for my attorney fees. He got to pay for my actuaries. He got to pay for everything, and then he got to cash me out. That's fair, right? What the? Adapter. Okay. Um, petitioner has insufficient income for support. And petitioner requests the court order respondent to make payments for support until the final decree is signed. This happened to me, guys. This right here, this is my life. I am paying temporary alimony. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Cow, hit me up, man. We could talk. We don't got to talk about this because you can't talk about this. But we could talk about alimony. We could talk about temporary alimony and how it works and how you it will make you mad. All right. Let's keep going, guys. We can make this bigger. Bigger. Bigger is better. Always better. All right. What else do we got? Uh-oh. Let's hit them with the cars. Petitioner requests exclusive use and possession of the following motor vehicles under further court order exclu including excluding and access to digital tesla vehicle application and that respondent be prohibited from entering assessing or otherwise exiting control of the 2022 bmw x6m and the 29 tesla so she's saying i want them exclusively all right exclusively Okay, so I'll, I'll show this comment. Her doing this brought her more harassment. She can only blame herself. I don't know. Maybe. All right, so what else? Petitioner requests that the parties and their agents be ordered to not drive or otherwise operate the 2022 McLaren 720 motor vehicle and that the vehicle is kept in good working condition. All right, this is, this is interesting that... Um, she gets she she has the BMW and the Tesla. That that indicates to me one or two things: is her name only on those titles? Like, are those gifts from her to him? Only Mr. Kyle would know. Are they gifts? All right. What else does she asking for? Oh man. Ooh, <laughs> Mr. Kyle. Um. Providing copies of pleadings to this case or action to any third party who is not directly involved in the pending litigation. So, hey, don't let him talk to anyone. All right, let me let me cover up that green part because that's that's the good part. Um, oh, directing any friends, family, followers, employees, colleagues, or other individuals to discuss the pending litigation on any social network profile, including but not limited to his Twitch stream or YouTube account. So basically, hey, he still needs to not talk. All right, guys, this is where it goes for the, uh, this is where it's going to hurt. This is going to hurt him. Let's just pull, let's just, let's just rip the bandaid off. Utilizing funds in his possession to wager, gamble, or play any games of chance. God damn. Uh, utilizing funds in his possessions to acquire clothing, jewelry, or wearing apparel that is not reasonably necessarily to respond to respondents minimum reasonable needs. So, hey, no expensive things. Assessing 
or in any way interfering or changing the password, email address, payment information, or any information for any account or application related to any property for which the petitioner has been awarded exclusive use and possession, including but not limited to the Tesla application and or account associated with the Tesla in the possession of the petitioner. What is this? Look, remember, he's saying he's not married. This is basically putting the shackles on him, okay? Hey, legally requiring him to stop gambling. <laughs> yes. Hey, you got to stop gambling, bro. Like, look, no one has this information, and we need to get the likes up. Like, all I just want is you guys to like the stream. Okay, request for security compliance. All right, guys, brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. Sit down, juice squat. Sit down. Make sure you're sitting down. This may this may hurt a little bit. This may feel a little bad, but just relax. I'm gonna make it big so you can see this. I'm gonna make it really big. We gonna go full. We gonna go full screen with it because you ain't gonna believe when I read this. I'm like, what the? F <laughs> I almost coughed up my water. Petitioner requests. We gonna make it small, and then we gonna we. You see this? What? What is this? I, all I saw was 500,000. Oh, oh, holy. Petitioner requests that the court order Mr. Cow to execute a bond subject to the court's approval for the deposit for the deposit security with the court of half a million dollars payable to adepter conditioned with the respondent's compliance with the the county standing order and any other temporary orders and injunctions that shall that have been or will be issued by this court half a million dollar bond if you mess up give it to me like what anyone ever broke up with a girl and she was like hey uh we wasn't boyfriend we wasn't roommates roommates where you get roommates from we're married like roommates don't play me. We got married in Canada. We're husband and wife. We signed a lease. We bought cars together. You told my mom you was going to marry me. We husband and wife. Put some respect on my name. Call me Mrs. Cow or Mrs. or what? Miss XQC. Like, I don't get into this. All right, now let's get into these prayers. Let's get into these prayers because you know you got to pray to the judge. They're going to, for all my people who are going to clip this and, and not give me credit, go ahead, clip it. I'm taking the stream down, by the way. So you better screenshot it. Petitioner prays that the court, after notice and hearing, grant the temporary injunctions. What? Let me make it smaller. Um, enjoining respondent in conformity with the allegations of this motion from the act set forth while the case is pending. All right. Petitioner prays that the court enter temporary orders regarding spousal support, execution of a bond, in use and possession of property as prayed for above. Petitioner prays that the court grant the first amended motion for temporary orders. Respectfully submitted. This is her legal team. And ooh, let me let me get this off screen because I got to make sure I don't share nothing crazy. All right, guys, what do you think of this? You want to see his violations? Do you want to see the violations that she got him for?